when we look at New York City's greenhouse gas emissions profile, we see that around 65% of our greenhouse gas emissions comes from our existing building stock. Around 30% comes from transportation, and 5% comes from waste. So we know that the improving the energy efficiency of our existing buildings is one of the most effective ways in which we can get to our greenhouse gas reduction targets. New York City has a commitment to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions 80% by 2050. So in 2007, we partnered with the city's 17 largest colleges and universities, all who have made the 30% reduction from 2007 until 2017. The colleges and universities were the foundational group within the program. St. John's being an early achiever uh, of this 30% reduction goal in 2016 is now currently exploring what the next phase of the program will be with a deeper reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. So the energy master plan that we have proposed to do for St. John's University is comprised of eight distinct deliverables. The first deliverable is for us to benchmark the energy use in greenhouse gas emissions. The second is performing an ASHRAE Level 2 energy audit for these buildings on the campus, which covers over 2.3 million square feet of occupied space on the campus. Deliverable number three is reviewing the proposed plans for the renovation at Bent Hall, which is the School of Business here on campus, and making recommendations for deeper energy conservation measures than what are mandated by the current state energy code. The next deliverable is using that data that we gather during the energy audit and a recently conducted facility condition assessment documentation. We're going to review that and provide the potential for new central cooling plants and central heating plants as applicable on the campus to replace the aging infrastructure and make the campus more energy efficient. Deliverable number five will be providing St. John's University a review of their existing energy management system capabilities and recommending EMS expansion opportunities where applicable and economic. Deliverable number six is reviewing the current sub-metering strategy to be implemented and recommending modifications as applicable. Deliverable number seven is reviewing the energy procurement methods, energy purchase agreements, and developing strategies to reduce costs and rates as applicable. And the last deliverable is to take all that information from those previous seven deliverables and develop the phased approach for St. John's University. There's going to be a lot of on-site work that we have to do at the beginning, doing the ASHRAE Level 2 audits, um, taking a lot of uh, as-used energy consumption profiles and patterns from both your uh, EMS systems, plus doing some spot data logging using various strategies of CTs and data loggers, ultrasonic flow meters, and occupancy sensors, CO2 sensors, other sorts of um, methods to try to understand how the energy is being used and where the opportunities are for St. John's University to improve their energy efficiency. So in conclusion, this will be an exciting endeavor for St. John's University, and we look forward to assisting them through this six months.